I think it is very much on all of us to utilize whatever skill that God has given us mm -hmm. and that we have been able to develop over time in order to continue to do better and continue to contribute to a better world. This is Cleantech Business Club, once again from InterSolar, this mortar in Europe from Munich. And now I'm very excited actually because uh, I would like to congratulate you. Yes, Thomas. Thank you. So this was actually the uh, Thomas uh, evening, yes, uh, two nights uh, ago. So Thomas is the first winner of the World Cleantech Startup Awards. And uh, this special issue of the awards, the first one, was dedicated to Paddy Padmanathan the former CEO of Aqua Power, who grew the company from three employees to over 30 billion worth company. Yes? So, Thomas, maybe you will be the next, yeah? Ah, yes, uh, we hope so, right? <laughs> so, congratulations. So it was a good start, thank you. So, Thomas, so, uh, I saw you, you were very excited uh, during the uh, award ceremony, but you, I also saw you very excited during the uh, hearing of the finalists, yes? Because we had actually 32 submissions from 21 countries from five continents. Actually, we had also one from the sixth continent, but it was after deadline we had to refuse. Uh, okay. And there was five finalists, and you were one of the five finalists, and you were also very excited during the hearing. Yes. Yes, yes. So why you were so excited, Thomas? I mean, uh, I started discovering that we can really establish a clean, infinite energy cycle with water and sun. Right. So hydrogen stored in water using then uh, uh, hydrogen in different applications and afterwards is, is water again. That really it got me very excited and drives me and, and I'm always screening for cool technologies that can help us on that way. And we found this cool technology, the sphere technology, the hydrogen battery, and we uh, in the end integrated the technology in, in, in a company. We created a company around it and now we are developing this very exciting hydrogen storage and distribution technology and that's why I'm still excited because we see that this might be a, a game changer. So we've had quite a good leads now during the, uh, the ceremony. Ah, this was awesome. So many good people there and uh, so good, many good talks. We also connected to very interested people that are interested also to invest in the company. So very great for us. Because you know, Thomas, uh, you don't know my story, but actually I started almost 20 years ago in solar energy. And uh, four years ago, I met Adamo Skrenci was the guy who set up uh, hydrogen business at Tyson. Yes, so let's say hydrogen pioneer. And he explained to me everything about hydrogen, yes? And I understood that it's not like a treat, but it's actually so amazing complementary to solar, to wind, to the storage, yes? Yes, absolutely. The renewable energy uh, always uh, comes with electrons, electrical energy, and there you can use it. You should use it because it's the most efficient. But if you have to store and distribute huge amounts of energy, electrons are not very efficient. So it's worth to invest a bit more energy to create hydrogen. And afterwards, you have a gaseous fuel, which you can store and distribute much more efficient. And uh, this is why it's really complementary to, to renewable power as the basis. And then hydrogen, where you need uh, to store and distribute a lot of energy. And how do you think, uh, because uh, we had uh, you know, so many submissions, from practically all the different clean tech technologies. Why do you think that uh, the jury chose you? Yes, I think that the jury is very educated and they understand how everything is connected. And I think if you see to the big challenge of energy transformation, it's not any longer energy production. You see this on that fair. We can produce energy at the regions where we have best sun conditions, ridiculously cost efficient. One cent per kilowatt hour, three cents per kilowatt hour. So no fossil fuel plant can compete any longer. But the big challenge still is to store and bring the energy to the big consumers that usually are not at the places where I have the best renewable energy conditions. And this is a problem we solve very uh, uh, efficiently and very, so we make hydrogen very safe and convenient to use in all kinds of mobile applications. And the infrastructure as well gets very simple. So the hydrogen itself becomes more cost efficient, competitive to fossil fuels. And this is, I think, what... Green what, hydrogen. Yes, green hydrogen. So this is, I think, that uh, the panel understood and that's probably why we got selected. So we just uh, spoke with Thomas about some inventions, even about our logo, etc., because we are creative guys. And uh, actually, we also invented together with Adamo our slogan for the CBC Green Hydrogen Hub, that uh, clean tech, renewables, plus hydrogen equal 
the best friends forever. Do you agree with this? I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Yeah. At which stage you are with your startup? Yes, because you are a startup, you received the, the award. So now you have different phases of investments needed. Yes, and yes. scaling up. Absolutely. So we, we founded the company in 2017. So we integrated the Swedish uh, inventor into the company. And since 2017, we are developing step by step the technology. And recently we had a big breakthrough. So we were able to develop a, a miniaturized pressure regulator in the size of few millimeters that uh, in the end controls the spheres, the hydrogen storage. And with that, now we're getting, going more public. So it's the first uh, oh, okay. application we did. We, we make now press announcements. We are approaching bigger investors. Uh, we are in this phase where we come from this breakthrough prototype now, pressure regulator, to now raising money for full system prototype. You know, the gentlemen, they don't speak about money, but actually we should speak, yes? So how much money do you need to make the next step? I mean, for the next step, we raise 3 million to come to a full system prototype, but we raise up to 10 million to really accelerate the development and get faster to the market. Yeah. Okay, so when do you think uh, you will uh, uh, get to the actual market, yes, if you have, you know, sufficient uh, investment? We want to enter into the market with smaller applications like uh, drones or micro-mobility applications in 2025-2026 and uh, for large applications like trucks or planes, uh, uh, the target is 2028. Oh, 2028. Okay, so uh, uh, we speak about cleantech decade, so we believe that during this decade we practically change the world, yes, now maybe a few years later. And uh, it's also uh, related to the growth of the industry. Yes? So we see the companies which were like 10 million, today is, they are a couple of billion. So let's say 2030, uh, what will be the worth of uh, uh, water and stuff? I mean, in the end, we see that all the energy we cannot efficiently distribute uh, in electrons, in electrical form, this technology has the capability to distribute all the rest uh, of the energy in form of green hydrogen and brings it to all kinds of different mobile applications. So this is a multi-billion company if we are successful. Okay, so last but not least, uh, what would be your recommendation to other startups? Yes, because uh, we spoke also, you see, uh, Cleantech Business Club also was a startup, our rewards are the startup. Yes, so uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, Perseverance needed, yes, especially in difficult moments. Uh, I spoke uh, with Elon Musk when his uh, rocket exploded, so he was saying, "Just, I'm just keep going." Yeah? So, what is your recipe, yes, especially in the difficult moments? Yes, yes, you have to believe in yourself and in your team, right? Uh, the team is the most important, and of course, the network that you find partners uh, that help you on the way. And uh, if there comes uh, a difficult time, which always comes. Keep going, keep going, keep, keep going. going. And uh, when you speak about uh, all the network and cooperation, also we invented together we are stronger. Do you believe in this? I mean, uh, I think that this is uh, uh, true for everything which we human beings are doing on this planet. We have to work together. We have to learn not to work against each other. We have to do this together. And then I think we can create a, a, a paradise on, on the planet for everybody. Okay, so thank you so much. And uh, with this positive accent, I would like to thank you, Thomas, once thank again. You. Congratulations. Thank and uh, maybe uh, in 2030, we'll speak with the uh, billionaire. Yeah? Absolutely. So, <laughs> thank you. But I think uh, it's not only about money. Yes? It's, it's about not about money. Bringing, it's about uh, the positive, making the uh, uh, world a better world. place. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. And, uh, you. Do you remember our uh, flagship sign? Yes. Thumbs up, <laughs> Thumbs up for Solar, for Thomas, and for his team, and for Water and the Sun. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Bye bye. I think it is very much on all of us to utilize whatever skill that God has given us and that we have been able to develop over time in order to continue to do better and continue to contribute to a better world.